Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I'm gonna plan for October. Uh, this is the previous month, September, and I am now filling in the days that I haven't filled in before. This is an example of what I do every day. I just transfer um, to-dos for a different day, mark them off or not, and with these colored uh, pens, I have a track. So every habit has a different color. The apps I'm using to uh, track my habits are Loop. And the app I use to track my to-do lists is TikTok. Let us go on to plan for October. I start off by adding every day of the month. I use crosses in this month to symbolize all the illustrations that I was meant to do or I am meant to do in the month that I'm planning. Uh, now I'm just drawing some calendars for my habit tracker. The little line you see below the calendars is where I write down my Instagram followers at the end of the month. I like tracking that sort of thing. And the rectangle is a project that I'm working on. Uh, that usually takes more than a month. Right now I'm working on an illustrated book and at the end of the month I will fill in the rectangle to what feels like is the proportionate uh, amount of work that I've done uh, so far. You can see me writing down the habits that I'm gonna track this month. Uh, there were no changes this month to the to the actual habits that I'm tracking and to the side here is the only spot that was available for me to uh, do a little decorating on I prefer it this way I, I to me the bullet journal is very much a an organizing tool so whatever is left I decorate so I started off by just doing a calligraphy of the uh, month's name that I found that I kind of copied and found online same for the bats I found some drawings of bats that I thought were simple and cute <laughs> and then I drew also a witch because Halloween, October, it all makes sense. Right now I'm using the Tomo brush pen to fill in the uh, witch's silhouette. And now I'm using a sparkly purplish uh, pen to draw a moon and a couple of stars. This is the month without anything filling in the, the days, so uh, without any to-do lists. As you can see, the correspondent of the little crosses on another month are just rectangles. They're illustrations for me to fill in. And you, you can see the project as well. And these are the habit trackers that I've also tracked this month. So now... <laughs> I ha so now I'm done with the decorating. I am now gonna fill in every day with the tasks that I am meant to do that day. And as you can see, I'm going back to the uh, planning of every month of the year and I'm going to just write down everything that I feel is necessary. Uh, with the same tumble brush pen, I am filling in the days that I feel like I'm gonna work on the project that I uh, represented as a rectangle below my habit trackers so I just do a little check mark on top of that 
a wash of color to symbolize that I've done it. As you can see in September I had just a pink line. Uh, and this is the finished look. Uh, all the almost all the days I have a task. I'm gonna transfer all the tasks around. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a very simple way of uh, planning. I feel like to me this is minimal enough for me to continue with the bullet journal. I feel like weekly and daily to do lists that take up a whole spread or multiple spreads would be way too much for me. All the information that I need is right here on this single spread. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found some ideas that you might like on your bullet journal as well. Hopefully I'll see you next week uh, with another video. Uh, it's it's gonna probably be a video of me painting one of my Inktober paintings since I am participating in Inktober. Okay, bye!